Hi Pisces, welcome to Karma Light Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video and come to my channel. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January and February 2021. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. Um, if at any time this reading resonates with you and you're interested in a personal reading that's more detailed to your specific path and journey, please check the description box below for my Etsy link. Also, you'll find my Instagram handle uh, in the description box. If you're interested, I do post live readings throughout the week. Um, I just did a good one the other day, so if you want to check that out, um, my Instagram is in the description box as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel. All right, of receiving messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In regards to their current life situation and life journey. Holy Spirit, I ask that these messages provide clarity and guidance. Healing and understanding. As well as a higher perspective and knowledge on what soul lessons and soul cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, let's get your oracle cards first, Pisces. Holy Spirit, what is the overall spiritual message of guidance here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Overall message of spiritual guidance for Pisces, please. Fork in the road. Okay, Pisces. And exercises. All right, so we have... Colossians 1.11, may you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. On the back, the stars may fall, but God's promises will stand and be fulfilled. Isaiah 40.31, those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Pray and let God worry. Um even with fork in the road. You're going through a lot of changes here. I have four, four, and four, okay? Three. Um, there's a situation right now, Pisces, and it looks like it's not gonna turn out the way that you wanted it to, and you're losing, you're losing faith, you're losing hope. And Spirit is reminding you that although you're at a crossroads where it's feeling and looking like you have to, you might have to part ways with something or someone or a situation that you were really hoping could come with you, they're reminding you that it doesn't mean it's over. That if you trust in the Lord and if you release your attachments to people, places, or things, and you attach yourself to the essence of what it is you are wanting, okay, you will you will bring that to you, okay? So a lot of you right now are needing to focus on your faith and trust in God, okay? A lot of you are really needing to dig deep and see what does it mean to you to truly believe and know that God has a plan for you. That means that you, you are okay with change, you are okay with going somewhere that may look different than how you envisioned it in your head, okay? And I have exercise is key. So spirit is saying you're needing to focus on yourself and your health right now, Pisces. 
and through exercise, I'm seeing a lot of uh, downloads come to a lot of you. Through exercising, you will be able to connect with the divine. It's clearing some energy out from within you that's needing to be cleared, okay? Let's see what we have here, Pisces. Daughter of Swords, Page of Swords. So you could be watching someone or this person is still watching you, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're at your breaking point here, Pisces. And not in a bad way. Not in a bad way at all. Ten of Pentacles overall energy on the bottom. You're working on bringing in your happiness, your strength, you're working on building the foundation for your future and your life. There is somebody that you have your eye on or they have their eye on you, but it's not really moving forward. It's like somebody's hemming and hawing about saying something or taking that step of action. Tell me about this daughter of swords for the current energy, please. For Pisces. Yeah. It, they're blocked from saying something. There's a lot of um, pain involved in here. Or something was hidden or something needs to be brought to light. And somebody just isn't ready yet to discuss it. That's what I'm seeing. Show me the past real quick. Three cards for the past of this connection. But somebody is getting prepared to make a decision in regards to this connection yeah in regards to their happiness in regards to they don't want to rush into it but i do i do see in the past there was a lot of talk about building something together there were a lot of emotions at play here okay there was um, a deep connection and somebody really wanting to build with with you or you wanted to build with them and somehow everything just went left. Somehow everything went left here with the Ten of Swords on the bottom. And it just got all kinds of messed up. You may be dealing with a Taurus as well. Um, there was a lot of worry, arguments, and anxiety. And right now you could be blocked from somebody or they're blocked from you. Or you're just not really hearing from them, okay, as much. But there's still hope here. So I'm seeing that allowing this break to take place because you see the colors here and then you see the colors being shot down to you here. This is um, the Eight of Wands. Yeah. So interesting. You have something that you need to discuss with someone. There's, there's a fire taking place within you. You either have an urgent message or you're traveling somewhere or there's something that you need to say to someone. You, It's like you've all of a sudden had an epiphany. You've had an aha moment. I told you downloads will be coming to you while you're exercising. Tell me about this. Eight of Wands, please. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. The Emperor and the Star. And look at that. Look at that. So yeah, you have an epiphany, Pisces. You have some type of epiphany. You have some type of big awakening or deeper understanding of what it is that you have to do in order to align your life and your purpose, in order to go after who this is that you want to communicate with, okay? Um, we have the emperor and the empress here. So this is a divine union. Um, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place about something that in the past here that is causing some heartbreak, but I'm seeing you guys move forward. The energy from the other person or the, the outer energy here is the four of swords. This person's resting. This person is taking care of themselves. This person is healing and, and kind of going through an awakening process here. They're learning things about themselves. They're learning things about what it is they want out of a connection. 
Holy Spirit, tell me about this Four of Swords for outside energy for Pisces. We have Aries energy here, Aquarius energy here, Taurus and Libra, Virgo, Six of Pentacles. They're seeking balance. Yeah, they're going through an awakening. Okay, a lot. Everything kind of feels up in the air to this person. Now, I don't know if this was you, Pisces, or the other person, but there's an energy here of somebody who struggled with reciprocating effort, energy, or communication at one point in this connection. Okay, but I see that that balance is being restored through this break, through this time apart. There's, there's some illusions, some fears, some manipulation, things that need to be worked through on a deeper surface level in order for this situation to be able to move forward. The challenge between the two of you is the six of wands. It's that wanting to be, this is going to sound crazy, but this is what spirit is showing me. Somebody felt trapped in this connection. It could have been both of you. Although both of you were very free as well. But there was somebody that really felt like you guys couldn't get everything off the ground because they didn't feel like they were independent enough or free enough. They felt like they needed to be more independent. They were trapped by a lot of conflict within their own mind that, that I don't even think was necessarily real. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please. Tell me about the Six of Wands. as a challenge for Pisces, Six of Wands, Daughter of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. <sighs> yeah, there was, it was like you guys were just never quite satisfied here. That was the challenge. Every, something always felt like it just wasn't enough. Somebody wanted more. Somebody was trying to achieve more. Both of you wanted more and you were under this illusion that you couldn't get it with one another. And that's just not true. Yeah, here's the Ace of Cups. It was like, love just wasn't enough for some reason, Pisces. It was getting this, this, this new beginning off the ground, convincing one another that you guys can do this. Because I'm seeing a lot of, um, a lot of fears, a lot of insecurities are here. Okay, the next steps of action in this connection is the Empress. So there is an opportunity here for you guys to grow. There is an opportunity here for you guys to build something new. I have to say for some of you, there could be a pregnancy, okay, coming in. Doesn't mean for all of you, but I have to say that, especially with the Page of Pentacles and the Empress. Um, but this is, this is a new beginning. This is something that's going to bring in a lot of passion, a lot of healing, Something that um, you've been wanting to take place. Tell me about this Empress, please. Queen of Cups. And this wanted to come up too in the Queen of Wands. Okay, so interesting. So next steps of action is this is what i want i've taken the time to look into myself into my emotions into my feelings this is somebody coming forward who's very aware of their feelings who's very loyal who is very protective of their own but they've also taken the time here to really recognize what it is they want and they have they, they're recognizing that they have to take the steps to manifest this they have to take specific actions to bring this forward. So I do feel like some type of communication or offer is on its way regarding this connection. Ironically enough, though, for the outcome, we have the four of pentacles with the two of pentacles. Interesting. Okay, so this is an issue of not being able to let go. Here we have the fool. So I'm seeing a leap of faith take place, something that you've been hemming and hawing on that will bring in ultimate balance. Notice how everything is connected here. Where somebody may not have been opening up um, in the past, I do see them releasing and, and trying to bring in balance and bring something more to the table here or understanding. But I am also seeing somebody take that leap of faith here. It's very hard to disconnect from this connection or this person, the magician. Yeah, 
you guys are going to to find a way to make this work here's the father of cups down there okay so there was pain there was a possible breakup in this connection pisces but i'm seeing you guys find a way to to bring in the balance and again work with the tools that you have within okay there's there's a need for a very truthful conversation to come forward because there's a fear of something being hidden and it might not even be anything but you have to remember that not everybody is on the same level that you're on yeah something just needs to come out in the open here the hermit the four of wands and the daughter of cups so page of cups this could be about emotions or somebody not being very open about their emotions or some of uh, we have virgo energy here this person needed time to themselves to really see and realize what it is they wanted somebody still feels like it's not enough or that they don't bring enough to the table that has that energy has to be removed before this connection um is able to flourish and work okay and then here we are again with the two of wands, the fork in the road. You have a decision, a choice to make Pisces. Again, here's Virgo. So you might be dealing with the Virgo. Understand that when you work on yourself and when you release expectations and things of that nature and attachments and you heal yourself, um, you then draw a vibrational match to you. Okay, so please keep that in mind that as you heal yourself, you heal others in the collective, including your counterpart that this could be about. All right, Pisces, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon.